before commencing work, the system must be de-energized. To do this, pull fuse 32 or 33 on the fuse strip in the driver's box, depending on whether the sliding door is installed on the left or on the right. The electric drive must now be detached from the mechanical drive. In the uncoupling unit turn the ignition key 180 degrees to the right. First, the side paneling of the sliding door must be detached using a plastic wedge. Take care of the speaker cables which are fastened to the inside of the paneling. Also remove the upper door trim. We can now see the Bowden cables, the main drive unit, the control unit and the drive for the electric closing assist. In order to remove the drive and control unit, the cable set and the Bowden cable for the uncoupling unit are unclipped from the retainer. Behind the plastic cover, unplug all cable connectors, on the control unit, on the drive unit of the closing assist, and the ground cable must be disconnected too. The main drive unit is attached to the door reinforcement by three bolts. When they are undone, the drive unit should be separated from the drive pinion. This requires some dexterity. When assembling, the connectors fit only into the correct sockets. The main drive is removed. Now it is easy to remove the control unit. If the sprinter has a high roof, there is an additional lock on the sliding door. The unlocking cable can now be detached from inside. The lock itself is bolted onto the outside of the door. The lock is removed outwards. The best way to reach it is to use a ladder. The electric closing assist is located on the carrier bracket. The carrier bracket also holds the control unit. This unit can be removed complete with the closing assist. The components must be pulled out carefully. In order to remove the middle sliding carriage, the belt tensioner must first be unbolted. This is located at the back end of the center guide rail. Now the front belt mounting can be removed. Remove the rear end stop too. A jack stand prevents the sliding door from dropping when the bolts are loosened. Before unbolting, mark the position of the sliding carriage. Undo the clip for the flex shaft tube. All the bolts can now be removed. The sliding carriage can be slid out together with the drive shaft and toothed belt. The new sliding carriage is installed in the reverse order. The seal boot is first reinserted into the opening on the rear face of the sliding door, 